In the English lesson, pupils have all brought in a, a reading book that they've already read at home. The teacher is teaching literacy skills rather than concentrating on the content of one set text. Our school literacy focus is to familiarise people with the language of literacy. In the starter activity, the teacher sets a question with the words, to what extent do you think? I've got a question on the board for you to consider. To what extent do you agree that humans can predict the future? This forces the pupils to make an evaluation and the teacher emphasises that the pupils are evaluating. OK, and can you just hold up what you've done, please, for me? I want to see that everybody's got something down. OK, we've got the percentage there. OK, it's an interesting way of putting it down for me. So we're going to be thinking about this now throughout. OK, that's going to be our key question for the rest of the lesson. To what extent can we predict the future? And also, how can then these predictions help us to understand a book? And you're going to put this into practice. So, you are going to be scanning the front cover. Pupils are later asked to scan the front cover of their partner's book to find information about the plot, character, themes and setting. They need to explain why they think something and try to make predictions about their partner's book. They are encouraged to use the higher order literacy skill of analysing. Or a list, OK? Select something on the front cover that you think is important. Okay, so you can be determining what is important. Was he right? Yeah. He was. So you so you've been making predictions. You've been you were able to basically predict the future of this book. Because I couldn't think of anything else where you get like a piece of ten like football, you get a score, you <laughs> So you were making those connections then to like something you've watched recently, you're making the connection to a sport and that's helped you, in other words, make this prediction. Okay? The brilliant, well done. Yes. Why is making predictions, the skill of making a prediction, a useful skill to use in English lessons, in other lessons? Okay, so think about your other lessons. Think about um, how you make predictions in Welsh. Think about how you make a prediction in French. At home, and maybe in a job. So why is that Later, skill? pupils are encouraged to make connections with things they've seen before. The teacher leads them to think about the big picture and how the skill of making predictions might be useful in other areas of the curriculum. In each of those boxes, okay, but work together for me, okay? Work in your peers to try and answer that question. Why is making predictions a useful skill to use in Welsh and French? Because we're doing like a foreign language and we don't really know them that well. It's like in French you have to predict is it le, la, un, and un. How will it allow you to access the text better? Um, if you're reading like just a piece of text, you can see what you can predict what some words are going to be in English. You can use cognate to like, re like to know what words you know and what words you don't, and predict like if they like a word that looks the same in Welsh or French or Spanish or English, you can predict like if if it's the same or not. <laughs>